Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Dreambox. Today, we're going to learn about the transformation tools in Maya. Let's jump in. Okay, here we are back inside of Maya. Let's learn these transformation tools. So the last time we were here, we added an object in using the shelf. This time we're gonna go up to the Create tab and press down on that one, choose Polygon Primitives, and here you can see the full list of Polygon Primitives. And we'll add a cube again, so left click on the cube. And then I'm just gonna frame it on the cube by pressing F on the keyboard. Now in the toolbox on the left, we have our transformation tools. So those are the three um, at the bottom. So the fourth one down is your move tool. The one underneath that is your rotate tool. And then the one underneath that is your scale tool. And when you hover over each of these icons, it actually gives you a hotkey. And to get fast at Maya, you'll want to learn these hotkeys. So the hotkeys are W, E, and R, and you use them in combination with the Q. So it's Q, E, W, R to cycle through the, those tools. Um, get to know those if you can, because they'll make it a lot faster. I'm going to go into the Move tool, and for now I'm just going to click this Move icon but it's um, W on the keyboard. And you'll see um, the Move Tool Manipulator show up. And it's these arrows here, there's some panels, there's a square in the middle. So if you wanna move the object, what you wanna do is hover your mouse over one of the arrows, just hold down on the mouse button, and then drag. And you'll drag the mouse, um, the mouse, <laughs> you'll drag the mouse, yes, but you also move the object. I'm going to open up the channel box so you guys can see. If you drag it past the origin, so the origin is where the two axes meet, you'll see it move in the positive direction. If you move, if you move past the origin, you'll see it move in the negative direction. So yeah, so that's increasing or decreasing those values. Now, that's one way to move it, right? Um, another way would be to use the middle of the tool, right? So in the middle, there's a square. And when you hold down on the mouse button and drag that, you'll be moving it in all three axes. And then finally, these little panels here, um, think, I think of them as walls or floors, right? So if I were to drag on that one, I'm moving along what I call like the floor surface. So it's gonna move in two axes. It's moving right now in the X and the Z or Z, depending on where you're from. Yeah, and then if I want to reset these or undo my selection, to undo, you just hit Control Z. To redo, you hit Control Y. If you forget, again, it's up here under Edit. And then if I want to reset these, I can go into each of these boxes and change them one by one back to zero, and they'll move back to the origin. Or what I can do is just drag, select down, type in zero, hit Enter, and it'll um, change all of those at once. So yeah, that's a fast one way to do it. Now let's go into the rotate tool. So go into the rotate tool. Instead of using the toolbox this time, I'm gonna hit, hit E on the keyboard, and then I get my rotate manipulator. And if you hover over one of these uh, circular colored um, lines, it'll rotate in that axis. If I want to rotate it all three at once, I can use the middle. And then that outer circle, that blue one, right? You can drag on that one, it'll rotate in screen space. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit Control Z a few times to go back. And um, something also that you can do is, before we go into the scale tool, is if you select one of these, it'll turn yellow, and then you can move the, it with the middle mouse wheel, and it'll move in that axis. And that works for all three. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in zero here. I'm doing different methods of changing these just so that you guys get a sense that there's different ways to approach it. And then let's go into the scale tool. This time, let's use the toolbox, right? Um, and that's um, R on the keyboard, right? And we can scale it in one axis, we can scale it in all three, or we can scale it in two axes, right? Yeah, so um, on the right here, the scale value originally was one, right? If you were to change that to zero, you'd have no volume and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So um, leave that at one. 
And that's how you use the, the tools in the toolbox. So play around with those, get to know it. Um, next, let's go to the components of the object. The components of the objects in Maya are its vertices, edges, and faces. So let's take a look at them. Um, on the right of the interface, open up your modeling toolkit. So in the modeling toolkit at the top, you'll see some icons and those icons um, represent the different modes you can go into. Right now we're in the object selection mode, right? So if I click off it, my object is unselected. If I click on it, it's selected. And right beside it is our vertex selection. So click on that one. And then in vertex selection, these little points here where the edges meet, that's your vertex. And to select them, you just click on one. It'll turn yellow and it's selected. To add to that selection, you hold down the shift key on the keyboard. And then you'll see a plus uh, show up, right? And you just click on another ver vertice, vertex. And then um, you've added to that selection. So if I hold down shift and hover over another one, it adds to that selection. If the selection is already added, that shift key, when you hover over a vertex, it now becomes a negative symbol. So if I were to click on it again, it takes away from the selection. So I can take away from this selection as well, right? And if you look up here, right under those um, icons, you'll see it update depending on how many you have selected. Next, let's go into the edge selection mode, right? And this is one way to change the modes, but a faster way and, and what I like to do is use Maya's marking menu. So to get into Maya's marking menu, you hold down the right mouse button and then um, you just drag the mouse until into one of these um, options that highlight, right? I wanna go into edge mode, so I go into highlight the edge, let go of the um, right mouse button, and now this updates to the edge mode. And here I can select my edges, if I hold down shift, I can add to that selection. And that's one way to um, add to the selection. Another way would be to use um, the selection box. So if I drag with the left mouse button over um, the viewport, right, I get the selection box. And if I let go, it's highlighted or it's selected these three edges. The only thing you have to watch out for is when you're using the selection box is that it's easy to select things that are behind it. So right now, it's fine. I selected those three edges. But I've, if I were in this view, for example, and I wanted to select, say, this edge here, if I use the selection box, it's easy to select the edge behind it, right? And you can see two edges are selected up here in my poly count, right beside edges, two is there. So the poly count um, display is actually really useful. And you can get to it by going up to display, heads up display, go across, and right down here you'll see poly count. And you just need to check that if you want the, the poly count display. It's very useful for what we do, which is gonna be a lot of game modeling. How the poly count display works is in the left column, you have your total um, values for all the objects in your scene that are visible, right? I'm just gonna quickly go into object selection, right? And in the middle column of numbers, um, you have the total values for all the objects you have selected, right? So if I click off it, it's zero. When I select it, it's um, updated with all these vertices, edges, faces, triangles, and UVs. And then in the right column is how many components you have selected. So if I were to go into, let's try vertex mode again. So I'm gonna use the marking menu this time. Right on the mouse button, go into vertex mode, let go. And then if I select a couple of vertices, I'm just gonna select these two. Nothing behind is selected. And then you can see up here, it's updated to two again. If I add to that selection, it gets updated. And now let's go into face mode. This time we'll use the icon, left click, click on the face mode, and we'll highlight this face. And when you use the, um, I guess the transformation tools with the component modes, that's really how you change and reshape your object, right? So right now I'm in selection, but if I were to go in scale, so we'll use this icon down here, scale tool. I can scale this um, component. 
I can scale it uniformly, I can scale it on one plane, right? So you can see the power of that combined with the components. If I go into say um, a vertex mode, for example, I can grab this vertex, I can move it just on its own, right? I can move it on one plane. Yeah, so play around with those, um, get to know this toolbox along with the hotkeys, get to play around with the, the marking menu and your navigation um, tools or navigation functions, I should say. And um, you'll get much faster and um, modeling will be um, a lot more fun as well. Yeah. And that wraps it up for today. Hopefully you were able to learn something new. Um, have a great day. We will see you in the next one.